Breaking news coming in. Let's go straight to that. Black protest by opposition parties inside parliament is what we are seeing. Opposition leaders are wearing black clothes in parliament. Congress's black shirt protest in parliament where Sonia has donned a black sari. Khadge is wearing a black kurta is what we know. Also, BRS Neta there. Keshav Rao wearing black as well. This is essentially the Congress president's room there with all of these opposition leaders, including the Congress, of course, are wearing black in protest. This is their way of showing solidarity with Congress MP Rahul Gandhi, who's just been disqualified from Parliament in recent developments. This happened on Friday, remember? And now these are MPs wearing black. This is BRS Neta, MP Keshav Rao wearing black. There are others as well in black. Everyone in that room, as you can see, is wearing black. Opposition parties are protesting inside Parliament. And in solidarity with former MP, former MP Rahul Gandhi, who's been disqualified, disqualified by Parliament. Amit Bhardwaj has more details on that big story. Uh, Amit, uh, this is in fact a great optics in terms of the opposition unity, I would think. Everybody, not just the Congress, all opposition leaders are wearing black. I'll just come back to you, Amit. We have a reaction also, I'm being told. Let's go straight to that first. मैं तो सबको धन्यवाद देता हूं जो लोग इस एक मोहिम को उन्होंने सपोर्ट किया इसीलिए मैं कल भी धन्यवाद दिया आज भी सभी को मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं जो लोग डेमोक्रेसी को बचाने के लिए संविधान को बचाने के लिए और जनता के हिफाजत के लिए कोई भी आते हैं तो उनका हम स्वागत करते हैं और जो सपोर्ट करते हैं उनको हृदय से धन्यवाद देते हैं इश्यू इज दैट द डिस्कालिफिकेशन ऑफ श्री राहुल गांधी इज कंप्लीटली एरोनस एंड बियॉन्ड द कॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ द लोकसभा सेक्रेटेरिएट द डिसीजन लाइज इन द डोमेन ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया अंडर आर्टिकल 1021 ई एंड आर्टिकल 103 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया and even the ingredients of section 83 of the representation of peoples act 1951 which triggers or which triggers a disqualification do not stand fulfilled as mr rahul gandhi's sentence was suspended by the same court which had uh, <coughs> which had sentenced him and gave, given him 30 days to appeal his conviction so under those circumstances this decision which has been taken in a tearing hurry you know merely not even 24 hours elapsed since that order was pronounced and the manner in which mr rahul gandhi's membership has been taken away is completely undemocratic it is despotic and uh, this does not augur well for indian democracy at all just because uh, somebody is critical amit bhadwaj has more details on that we have not one congress party but there are several opposition leaders Amit, who've come together, all of them are wearing black. This is a great show of solidarity and, as, and, and also indicative of opposition unity as far as this matter is concerned. You have Sonia Gandhi also right now. We're putting out those pictures wearing a black sari. Amit? Uh, right, Sneha. You know, you're absolutely right. This, uh, this is a great show of solidarity uh, by the opposition parties as far as Mr. Gandhi's disqualification is concerned. In fact, Congress party is trying to draw a narrative that this particular battle is not only fought le is going to be fought legally, but this is a fight to save the democracy. That's the narrative that uh, Congress party and all other opposition parties are now trying to uh, push forward and that uh, this fight will be fought right from the ground from Salak to Sansad, that is from the streets to the parliament and that is why you are seeing uh, visuals like uh, uh, the one where you have the opposition leaders, opposition MPs reaching the parliament one after other wearing uh, black shirts or you know black, band, uh, 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 black batches uh, to show that they are against the disqualification of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. In fact, Sneha, I am at Jantar Mantar where you will uh, see that uh, stage is set uh, for a protest by the Indian Youth Congress workers, this is uh, in support of Rahul Gandhi and against Rahul Gandhi's disqualification from the parliament. Now, 
And remember, you know, Congress is uh, saying that they are going to fight it out on the streets, in the parliament, in the court. And that is why a series of protests like this one are being organized across the country. Today you will have similar protests uh, in every state of India. You know, Congress party trying to up the ante against uh, the Bharti Janta Party government in the center. And this is uh, Congress's youth uh, wing which is uh, uh, organizing this protest in the national capital. So clearly a message being pushed by Congress party that this is a battle that they are not going to, you know, uh, let go easily. They'll fight it out in the court. They'll fight it out on the streets as well as in the parliament. And very interestingly, now that the 2024 battle is, uh, you know, barely uh, 13 to 40, 14 months away, you have all the opposition parties rallying together behind Rahul Gandhi and, uh, you know, at least as far as this disqualification chapter is concerned. And uh, uh, it's also because in the past uh, few months, the, uh, there's a narrative uh, which is being said by opposition parties that the central agencies are being misused uh, uh, against them. Uh, be it Aam Aadmi Party, Trinamul Congress, uh, the BRS, all these parties have been training guns at the BJP, at the central government. And with Rahul Gandhi's disqualification, possibly this is one point where uh, the opposition parties have de decided to keep their differences at bay and come together on this issue. Back to you, Sneha. Amit, I'm going to thank you for the moment for getting us all of those details. Amit, we'll keep coming back to you for more on that story.